Situated in Great Yarmouth, the Time and Tide Museum gathers artefacts that honour the local history. The building was formerly known as a curing work for herring and other fish. We had the opportunity to talk to the curator of this museum and ask some questions about the fishing industry in Great Yarmouth. In the record-breaking year of 1913, approximately 380,000 tonnes of herring were loaded onto the ports of Great Yarmouth and Lowestock between September and December. The herring trade was deeply important to the town. Um, it employed not just people working on the fishing boats, but also people associated with the industry like the net makers, the basket makers, the boat builders. And then you had people coming in from places like Scotland following the migrating fish down, mostly herring, uh, and they would arrive in the town around September, October every year. The museum has been open since 2004 and has since won awards such as being a finalist for the European Museum of the Year Award in 2006 and winning the Objective to Celebrate Award that same year. Yeah, so the, we, we like to focus on community curation here. Uh, so we are the story of Great Yarmouth life. Um, the history of the town is very important and it's the people that have lived here and live here today that make that history so important. So we like to involve our community as much as possible with um, helping to choose what we put on display. Um, obviously we rely on people donating their families' histories and memories and objects to form the muse museum's collections, which they have done over a couple of hundred years. Many of the exhibits focus on the history of the fishing industry, more specifically the herring trade, which took place between the 12th and the 20th centuries. So the smoke houses were really important to this building, so the, the, one of the main function really. The fish were stored here and chilled here and they were packed and processed, but the smoking was what made the, the, the main dish of smoked herring. So there were uh, over a dozen smokestacks in this building and there were lots and lots of smoke houses in the town. The smokestacks could hold about 64,000 fish per smoking and fish were smoked depending on individual tastes. So some were smoked for a short time, for a light smoky flavor. Some were smoked for up to three days for really deep, dried, well-preserved fish. Uh, and they, they, so you could have up to half a million fish smoking in the building at any one time, and they'd be changed over every couple of days. So millions upon millions of fish were smoked in this building during the main herring season. So I've been here for about six years, um, obviously the pandemic was a big, big experience when the museum closed but we did try and collect some stories and items relating to the pandemic um, so obviously that's the, most, that's the biggest thing that's happened to me here. Um, some of the nicest things that um, I've witnessed revolve around the exhibitions that we've had. So um, we try and change our temporary exhibitions every six months or so here. And we had a lovely one in 2018 about the history of circus to celebrate 250 years of circus. And obviously the Hippodrome Circus is a really important part of uh, Yarmouth's history down on the seafront. So it was lovely working with them and putting on a bit of a fun exhibition with, with, a, with a circus theme. <laughs>